Hey everyone, in this session I am going to talk about top 10 interesting feature for decomposition tree AI visualization in Power BI. We all know that root cause uh, for root cause analysis decomposition tree is the best visualization and it has a lot more capability. So in this session I am going to talk about top 10 features for decomposition tree. The features are conditional supporting, drill through support, sort capability, responsive design, cross highlight support, easy access by keyboard shortcuts, improved behavior of filtering, improved scrolling behavior, then include, exclude and show as table feature and pinning the visual as dashboard. So these are the top 10 features that I am going to discuss during this session. So now stay connected with me throughout the session. So the first feature that I am going to discuss here is at this moment this is my decomposition tree and decomposition tree supports conditional formatting. Now in order to achieve the conditional formatting we need to go here to the format thing and we just need to click on conditional formatting. We can apply the conditional formatting for the columns or a different measures as well. So based on that I just applied this type of conditional formatting over here. So this is the first feature that has been applied to the uh, decomposition tree. Now let me go to the second feature. Now now decomposition tree supports drill through feature as well. So when you click on drill through and click on apply drill through it will redirect you to the second page like this. So that means that decomposition tree is supporting drill through feature as well. Now sort capability. We can, uh, we can uh, apply sort on our decomposition tree visualization. For that you just need to select your visualization click on ellipsis and you will be having an option sort by so based on the different column you can apply sort I applied the sort on the year column you can apply sort ascending and descending over here so this is the third important feature of decomposition tree now let me talk about fourth uh, uh, component that is responsive design so this visualization is responsive so even for the mobile layout it will automatically set its position based on the provided space over there the fifth feature over here is cross highlight support. So let's say for an example when you click on any of the uh, bar over here it will automatically cross highlight the other visualization over here. So cross highlighting is supported at this moment. Now the sixth feature is improved behavior of filtering. So earlier with the decomposition tree what happened was when I click on any of the bar the um, bar close automatically. This um, so now this has been improved and uh, the, uh, the uh, particular bar is not being closed when we click on it and it uh, automatically properly filter the other visualization. The seventh feature is easily accessed by keyboard shortcut. So now let's say for an example if I press any down key over here so you can see that my position of the cursor is being moved over here. So now at this moment you can see that I am over here. This is my uh, keyboard shortcut that I am using. If we press right key we can easily navigate through different bar using this particular uh, keyboard shortcuts like arrow key we can press enter key as well. So these are some uh, keyboard support which is supported at this moment. So this was the seventh feature. Now let me move over to the eighth feature that is improved scrolling behavior. So you can see that uh, we have this, this type of scroll over here by which we can easily apply the scrolling in between our data. So, so this has also been improved. So now let me move over to the ninth feature. So ninth feature is that uh, when we click on uh, when we right click on everyone we would be having an option include exclude and uh, show as a table option. So these are the additional options that has been uh, very useful for this decomposition tree. And one last thing is that now pinning the visualization in the dashboard is also supported. So let's say for an example if I go over here for uh, Power BI service and this is my dashboard. So now we can also pin the decomposition tree visualization as well so when we pin it it will appear as a dashboard over here so it will be looking like this so these are the top 10 features that we have discussed during this session if you find any other interesting feature uh, regarding the decomposition tree you can share your opinion with me in the comment section so in this session we have discussed about the conditional formatting drill through support sort capability responsive design cross highlight support uh, easy key keyboard access uh, shortcuts improved behavior of filtering and scrolling include exclude and show as table option and pinning the visual as a dashboard. So these are the top 10 component feature that we have discussed about the decomposition tree. Hope you love this video. 
स्टे कनेक्टेड विथ मी फॉर अमेजिंग टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स अबाउट ऑल पावर प्लेटफॉर्म कंपोनेंट्स लाइक पावर बी आई पावर एप्स पावर ऑटोमेट एवरीथिंग इफ यू आर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम टू माई चैनल मेक श्योर यू हिट सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द वेल नोटिफिकेशन टू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स फ्रॉम माई चैनल स्टे कनेक्टेड विथ मी ऑन फेसबुक लिंकड इन ट्विटर एंड व्हाट्सएप If you wish to receive the daily notification on your number just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye